Pink vines, pink vines, good food on my mind. Pink vines, pink vines, for breakfast, lunch, or dinner time. So right now I'm on Fremont Street in Las Vegas, Nevada. That little shopping area you see back there is where Simply Pure is. Now, this place is awesome. Just want to say first and foremost, regardless of what kind of food you eat, you will find something here you love, but it just so happens to be vegan. I'm 20 days in, actually today's day 21. I'm officially three weeks in. Uh, it honestly hasn't been difficult for me. Like I've enjoyed cooking new things, trying new flavors. Like yesterday at the poker table, there was this guy sitting a couple seats away and I saw something that looked like eggs, but not really. And then it had avocado and sweet potato there. And I was like, yo, did you get that from here? And he was like, no, 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 I, you know, I brought it from home. And I'm like, what is that? And he's like, it's tofu. I'm like, but what did you put on it? And I knew what tofu is. Like I've seen it in the stores, but I haven't had it yet. And I thought it was white and his was yellow. And he was like, oh, I put turmeric on it. I'm like, wow. I was like, dude, is that good? Is that like a good protein? And we were talking a little bit about it. And then he says, here, grab a fork. And then I get to try it at the poker table. And it was amazing. Like. I guess maybe if I had been eating eggs these last three weeks, then maybe it wouldn't have been as good. But for me, I was searching for that egg texture and turmeric is really healthy for you too. And it has protein and it was awesome. So that's just one example of one of the things I've been trying. And like, uh, I've actually been to this place that I'm about to show you before. A few days ago, I got my first ever vegan grilled cheese and it had tempeh on it, which is another, it's like a soy based protein. It was phenomenal with pesto and tomato on a multi-grain toast with some corn chips. And then I also got the Thai basil spring rolls. Those were so much flavor just bursting with flavor with the sauce and i didn't feel weighed down or heavy after it was like a great meal so i'm excited about this lasagna but i'm gonna keep an open mind because i'm italian i was raised eating pasta and cheese and lasagna like my mom like hers is delicious like i look forward to it every time she makes it i help her make it sometimes so we're gonna see but i'm gonna be the biggest skeptic and critic of this because yeah i'm three weeks vegan but i'm also italian and i've been raised eating lasagna so let's see what it's all about Look how big this lasagna is. It's huge. I had to ask for a to-go box. Um, all right, first bite. I wish I had a regular fork. I hate plastic forks, but ready? This is literally my first bite. Usually on Bing Bites, I've had it before, and then I'm doing a video about it. I'm just putting my faith in this place because of how good the other stuff that I had was, and plus all the reviews. So here we go, ready? All right, hold on. Let me switch hands here. So it's very tomatoey, not in a bad way. Just like very fresh tomato, bright flavor. The cheese, you can tell it's not cheese, but it mimics cheese. The pasta tastes exactly like pasta, like exactly like pasta. I mean, this is, I'm not missing the meat at all in this at all like all the textures are there i'm a huge texture guy so if it doesn't have the textures it's gonna really bother me like it can't be too mushy it can't be too crispy nothing it like i gotta have a good balance in pretty much everything i eat look at that it's pretty much the exact texture of regular lasagna you know you want some come to simply pure you know i also want to add that for some reason i'm not craving like garlic bread at all <laughs> usually anytime i eat pasta or anytime i have sauce and cheese i want some sort of bread but um i don't want that right now i don't that's kind of weird like is it something with the vegan i, I don't know all right so i just asked and apparently this is vegan protein sausage not really sure what that's made of and then you got the vegan mozzarella and then tofu ricotta which that's like the white stuff that's in there with the meat uh, and then you got the fresh basil and fresh spinach with the sun-dried tomato marinara. So that's actually all the ingredients in it. And mm. Ma, yours is better, I gotta admit. But when you take all the health 
things that come with eating all that milk and cheese and stuff like on a consistent basis i guess every now and then is not that bad but for me this was like a lifestyle change because i just wanted to see how my body felt and so far i feel amazing so i'm pretty full <laughs> but i'm in the home stretch i didn't want to waste the lasagna and throw it out and i didn't want to just be carrying it until i'm hungry again so i'm trying to crush it <laughs> but it's a lot of food you saw how big that was like for 11.95 i think was the price can't go wrong this could feed you twice easily easily Bink. <laughs> this couch is eating the whole thing by the way you don't have to eat the lettuce if you don't want to and you don't got to do all the sauce but if you eat the whole lasagna or at least 98 percent of it <laughs> it counts you know i don't really have that ugh, like super super stuff feeling i thought i would if i ate the whole piece but i don't i feel good i feel nice <laughs> Vegan food is awesome, man. That was, I mean, I know that was some processed cheese or, you know, it wasn't all healthy, you know, for what it's worth. Like they have to use something processed in order to make vegan cheese and vegan, whatever the other stuff was. But compared to the alternative and how much meat I used to eat and cheese and milk and butter and all that stuff, it adds up, it adds up. And I'm just speaking from experience that I'm three weeks in and I feel the best I've felt in my life, uh, not to mention Things in the bathroom are a lot smoother. Bugs, <laughs> Sorry for the too much info. Good food on my mind.